What is up guys, Kevin over at Lake Bros coming back at you with a special video today. This is something that I have wanted forever since I was a kid. I've gotten this set a couple times, but I've never gotten it with the box. And that's what I'm super excited about just so I can actually relive. I might keep this one just because it has the box and everything like that. I dreamed about this set as I was a kid for, I'm gonna be very careful here, <laughs> pay attention, forever. It was on every single Christmas list. It was on every single birthday list, but unfortunately it was so expensive way back when that it never came to fruition. I have gotten it a couple times since I was an adult, but uh, this is gonna be extra special here, hopefully. <laughs> I don't, I, I think the, I want it super cheap, so I don't know if the guy knew if it was complete or not. Um, what did I pay? I think I paid 80 bucks for it or something to that effect. Um, but it's gonna be a nice short video. Uh, I think he found this later on, so he threw it in, so that's not a good sign. Uh, as you can see, this is the 6973 Deep Freeze Defender. If you guys have followed my channel at all, you know that this is my favorite set of all time because it's the thing that I wanted most in the world when I was a kid. Obviously, there was castle sets that I wanted and stuff like that uh, as well, but this one always was on the top of the list. Ice Planet was just so cool to me way back when. Loved the color scheme. I think this is actually on my brother's list too, <laughs> all the time. I've never seen the box and it's so much smaller than I thought it would be. That is crazy. I thought this box was just enormous because this was like the biggest set uh, of the Ice Planet. I mean, there was the base too, but I'm pretty sure this set was bigger than the base. Um, really, really excited to see this box just because this was just, it's crazy. I had no idea it was, it was 412 pieces. So back then 412 pieces was a whole lot. Um, but it's just so cool to see it in its actual original packaging. Obviously the wonderful box art there shows you all of the detachments that you can do with this thing. Both pods detach, the whole back detaches. I did a review of all of the Ice Planet, the whole entire theme. If you guys haven't seen that, if you were curious about it, definitely check that out. I can see the pieces look magnificent in here, which is super duper cool um, that they are all completely white. It's probably been in the box, closed up out of the sun for a long time. As you can see, these things are mint, mint white. That is so cool. I might have to keep this as a display piece. <laughs> uh, I rarely, rarely do that, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta spoil yourself in life and this one might might just be, might just be the one that ends up in a, in a glass display or something to that effect. It looks like it's mostly torn apart. Uh, as you can see, a lot of the pods and stuff like that are still together. I did want to see if the Ice Planet Babe was in here because I don't—I didn't see all the minifigures in the picture. Uh, like they said, they kind of described it as just you know as complete as they <laughs> as they could see. They also said there was other pieces for another ship in here as well. Um, so I'm not sure if maybe one of the other Ice Planet things are in here, but this is so minty clean. I can't even believe it. I've never seen a deep freeze defender this clean. They're always yellowed because everybody put it on display and stuff like that. So these pieces are always yellowed. This book is very mint as well. This set, uh, let's see how old this set was. Uh, six, nine, seven, three. This set was from 1993. So it's going, it's getting there, <laughs> getting up there. I was six when this came out. Um, so it's almost 30 years old and this book looks tremendous, super shiny. The pages aren't torn or ripped or anything to that effect. You know what? I think we might just, maybe we'll build this on our live stream. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll release this video ahead of time. I was gonna release this way later on, but you know what? This could be a fun live stream build. I don't have any mix and match, or uh, I don't have any uh, blind bags, so this actually could be a good, good uh, live stream build. Comment below if you'd like to see this as a live stream build. Like me just to cry on cam <laughs> on camera because it's so beautiful. I, you know, it might be missing pieces too. That's the problem with doing it on on live stream. Is if it is missing pieces, then obviously we're gonna have trouble. Um, we do see we have two of those guys. I think we might be missing the Ice Planet Babe, which is the hardest one to find. Luckily, I did find that headpiece in one of my other videos. If you guys were watching one of those, nobody in there. As I'm scraping all of the pieces. Stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop here in a second. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, all of you vintage collectors that are screaming right now. Oh, one last chance. No. Okay. So it was missing the Ice Planet, babe. That's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was a good voice. Did you hear that tone? Boom. There she is. So there probably is another set in here then. This only came with three minifigs. So obviously there's another set in here as well. Um, but this is the hardest to find figure of Ice Planet. She was only featured in the base and in the Deep Freeze Defender, which is this one. Uh, so she's very hard to find. Uh, she's got a little marker on her, but other than that, these guys are just mint. They feel brand new. Like the arms feel brand new. You don't see any scratches or anything like that on them. I'm not going to move the pieces too much. <laughs> I'm going to unbuild this just so that I can rebuild it. Um, because I haven't built one of these for a very long time, like a year plus. And this one, oh boy, is it so mint. I, I actually I don't know what to do because I don't have a space to put it yet. I don't have like a glass case to put it in. So I don't know. I'm, 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 be, I'm between. <laughs> uh, tell me below if you guys want to see this as a live stream since we don't have any blind bags to go through. If you think this would be a fun live stream as well, uh, we will go through that and I'll just build it and then probably just unbuild it again <laughs> or something to that effect. Uh, but super excited this is just near and dear to my heart why i started this whole thing in the first place was just to live some childhood memories and this thing is that oh man i'm wrecking all the pieces together you can also see the alternate builds here on the back that's also why i like getting the boxes of the old systems uh or the old lego sets is because they had the alternate builds on there which can be fun to make as well you see this giant robot looking thing uh, they had some creativity with these pieces. <laughs> and what's the cool part is you didn't get instructions for any of those. That's actually a pretty cool looking jet, ice jet there. That one actually might be worth building because it looks pretty simplified. But the cool thing is you never got instructions. So they give you like a, a challenge almost to build all of these where it just says build any of these models with this set. Um, as you can see, those are the three minifigs that comes one, one of each kind of ice planet. There was only three kinds of ice planet figs. Uh, this is one of each kind, but super duper excited. I still can't get over how small this box is. As you can see, these seals aren't even... Was this seal torn? <laughs> the seals weren't even cut. It looks like they were just maybe peeled off, but the seals themselves are actually still completely intact. There's one seal, and there's the other seal. They didn't use really good tape <laughs> back then, which is why a lot of these like old sealed sets just come unsealed, even though they're still completely brand new. Uh, just because people would just peel the seal off, which is which is funny. Uh, yeah, but comment below if uh, you guys have had this set before. Comment below also what your what your dream set was as a kid. If you're an adult, obviously if you're a kid now, you can just comment what you'd like, <laughs> I guess. But if you're an adult like me, what was the one that got away? What was the one you never got that you wanted so, so much? I'm curious to know what you guys we're thinking way back when. <laughs> Ice Planet 2002. We definitely don't have cool things like this, and it is past 2002. Uh, they had really big, lofty goals. This was made in 93, so they thought nine years from now, we could have some spaceships. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, we do have some spaceships, but not not like this, for sure. I'd, I'd be on this, though. Uh, yeah, comment below. I love all of you. Thank you for living my dream, my childhood dream with me today, and I'll catch you on the next one.